Hi, welcome back to Barbecue Life UK. My name's Tom, and today we're cooking venison fillet. But first, I'd like to thank my friend Paul for donating this piece of meat. Without him, we wouldn't be able to cook this today. Thank you very much, Paul. Add this venison fillet marinating for a couple of hours. It's marinated in uh, a quarter of a cup of Worcester sauce, half a cup of dark fruit cider, a small onion, and some garlic, and some thyme. I'm just going to onto the chopping board. Get all of this off. I'm going to pat it dry and then we'll add some rub. Patted off a lot of that residual moisture. And I'm just going to add a steak seasoning. Just going to sprinkle that over all the sides. Give it a little pat in. I'm not forgetting to do the ends. You can use any steak seasoning. This is just one I've made up myself. It consists of salt, pepper, uh, paprika, oregano, and I like a little bit of mint added to mine. It just adds a different flavour profile. So we're just going to let that sit while we light our charcoal. So I'm just using one charcoal basket today, which I've completely filled with lumpwood charcoal. Got all the vents set completely open to get the temperature up nice and high. I've let the temperature stabilise for about 10 minutes, up and around 200. Just going to open the lid. We're going to place this deer fillet directly on top of the charcoal. We're going to leave it there with the lid shut for two minutes, and then we're going to flip. Two minutes direct heat on that side. Move it straight over. We need two minutes this side. So we've had another two minutes. I'm just going to check the temperature in the centre. Sitting around 40, so we've still got a little way to go. Again. We add another two minutes. Again, just gonna probe forty seven, forty eight, about five more degrees. Last flip. Still keeping this direct all the way through. The juices are starting to come through to the top now. Yeah, 53, so we're going to take it off. Just let this carry over. While that's resting, I just want to layer on a piece of wild garlic and chilli butter just to melt down through. So we've rested for about five minutes, I'm just going to slice through. Lovely and firm crust on the outside. Beautifully plink in the middle, perfect medium. So I can't wait to give this a try. Let's give it a bite. It's so beautifully tender. Got a nice little kick from the chilli without it being too overpowering. That's gorgeous. If you like what we're doing here at Barbecue Life UK, then please do like the video, leave us a comment, let us know what you think, subscribe to the channel, make sure you ring that bell to receive notifications. That way, you'll know whenever I release a new video every two weeks. So thank you very much for watching.